Her name is Mia. Yes, la, 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 la. Jay and today I'm here with another haul video. I have a total of six books that I've recently picked up so without further ado let us get started. So the first two that I have are actually graphic novels that I was sent by Penguin Random House so thank you so much to Penguin Random House for sending me copies of these. They are Five Worlds the Sand Warrior and Five Worlds the Cobalt Prince and this is book one this is book two. I have no idea why I was sent these but they sound really cute so I'm kind of excited about them. It basically follows these five worlds who are about to go extinct unless these five beacons are lit. These three unlikely heroes decide that they're going to be the ones to light these beacons and save the five worlds. It says that they are four fans of The Last Airbender, which I've never personally watched before, but I know it's a super popular show and so many people love it. So I'm quite interested in what I'm going to think of these. And also they're going to be super fast, quick reads. So hopefully I like them, but I guess we'll see. The next four books I picked up from the chapters sale in my local town. It was like a three for ten dollars thing. And then I also just picked up another book because I wanted it. So the first book, from that sale is Follow Me Down by Sherry Smith and this book I had on my most anticipated reads when it like first came out a year ago. It follows Mia who left her hometown many years ago and she had a very troubled past there and then she finds out that her twin brother is actually missing so she returns back to her hometown only to find out that her brother disappeared the same day that one of his students body was dragged out of the river and there may be a link towards her twin brother and this student. It's basically her trying to clear her brother's name but then she's also thinking if he wasn't guilty why did he leave the hometown and it's just kind of the story with her dealing with her troubled past and her twin brother and this death of this teenager. So I've always thought that it sounds cool and also it's blurbed by Chevy Stevens who I really like so. The next book from that sale is Alex Approximately and this is by Jen Bennett and this was super popular when it first came out. It's super fluffy contemporary from what I've heard. It follows a girl named Bailey who's been talking to this boy named Alex online for a couple of months. She ends up moving to Alex's hometown but she doesn't tell him that she's moving there because she doesn't want to know if he's a creeper or not in real life. She ends up getting a job at the museum and she meets the security guard named Porter. They become arch rivals and then she starts to realize that she may actually be having feelings for him and she needs to decide whether she's going to try to have this relationship with Porter or stay with Alex even though she's never met him. But then, plot twist, Porter is actually Alex so I'm intrigued. I think it'll be a super cute fluffy thing so you know you always need fluffiness after you read the thrillers that I always read so I'm excited. The next book that I have is Fragile Like Us by Sarah Bernard and I had never heard of this before but I read the synopsis and I was like hmm interesting. It follows best friends Caddy and Rosie. They're very different from each other. Caddy is very shy. Rosie is very outgoing. When they're about to turn 16, Caddy realizes that she wants to be more like Rosie. That's when a girl named Suzanne enters their life and she's very wild and they start to act like Suzanne and then they start discovering secrets from Suzanne's past. Things go on from there. I just thought it sounded interesting. It says they go on a dangerous downward spiral so I'm intrigued about what this dangerous downward spiral is. And then the final book I picked up was just because I've heard about it from so many people when they read it when it first came out and that is The Edge of Everything by Jeff Gills. I honestly don't even know what it's about other than it follows a girl named Zoe and I think her little brother or sister. After the death of their father they're in this wooded area and then they're being hunted by I'm not 100% sure if it's a demon or just like a bad person. I don't know. But this bounty hunter comes from the other worlds called the Lowlands and he's not supposed to tell Zoe why he's there he's only supposed to be able to communicate with his target but then he breaks all the rules 
to talk to Zoe and this love forms and that's all I really know I'm probably wrong that was a really bad synopsis but what more can we expect from me because I never give good synopsises we should be used to this by now but literally the only reason I bought it was because I've heard a lot about it and people seem to like it and it was six dollars so I was like okay so. Alright guys, so that was my little haul for today. Let me know down below if you've read any of these, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!